There are two Hammersmith neurological examinations, one for newborns from birth to about two months of age, called the Hammersmith Neonatal Neurological Exam, or HNNE, and one for infants from two to 24 months, called the Hammersmith Infant Neurological Examination, or HINE, HIN. Both examinations have been standardized and are recorded on a pro forma that has clear line drawings of possible responses to each item, making it easy to record and to compare to the standardized age equivalent data. While many people find neurological examinations difficult, particularly in newborns and young infants, and then question their reliability. The Hammersmith exams address this issue by having clearly presented items, readily recordable on a standardised pro forma, uh, that have good interrelator reliability and can be scored, and the scores used to predict motor outcome and cerebral palsy. The exams have also been shown to correlate with cranial ultrasound and MRI brain imaging findings. The excellent reliability of the HINE means that it has now been incorporated in many follow-up programmes all over the world. The exams can be used for clinical practice, in research, and in any resource setting. Uh, the, there is no expensive equipment needed to perform the exams. The proformers with the stick figures make it easy to record the, your findings uh, and minimise the need for writing. Uh, they also make it easy to compare to previous exams and obviously subsequent exams, as well as the normative data. Well, the videos on this website show how to perform, record and score the examinations. So watching them is really a very good way to learn both the Hammersmith neonatal exam and the infant exam. Videoing yourself uh, using the exam in clinical practice and watching your own video together with what's on the website is a very good way to get feedback as of course is working with a more experienced colleague. Finally, I think it's necessary to read at least some of the papers about the exam to really learn how they were developed uh, in the beginning. You can perform the exams at any time within the appropriate age range. Uh, for the neonatal exam, um, this best allows prediction of outcomes uh, for the preterm infant when performed at term equivalent age. And for the full term infant who has presented with an acute neurological problem in the neonatal period, outcomes are best predicted from uh, the second to third week. Uh, for the infant examination, this allows categorization of children into those who are highly likely to develop cerebral palsy or uh, are at least at risk of developing cerebral palsy uh, from about three months onwards. This exam has also been shown to correlate to some extent with cognitive outcomes. Uh, no, you don't need to be a neurologist to uh, carry out these exams. Any health professional who is used to nursing or handling newborns or young infants can learn them. Uh, they can learn to carry them out, to record them and to score.